Well, first, congratulations. I went over your initial deck in February. Then I went over your last deck before this. And it was kind of a little bit of schizophrenic because you didn't know where the bottom could be. But you shot the lights out first, what you thought you could do just a couple of months ago. What changed? Yeah, a few things changed. First and foremost, Jim, I got to give credit to the 69,000 Otis colleagues. You know, we have been in essential service since the COVID pandemic started, and our folks are continuing to service elevators globally and never stopped. But what changed is uh, we've seen improvement. China has recovered fully, and uh, we are going at full pace in China, which is the largest single elevator and escalator market in the world. We're seeing job sites reopen across the rest of the world. It was 65% of the construction job sites were open in April. We're past 90% now with some limitations, obviously, in India and Southeast Asia. And then we just continue to drive improvements through productivity, labor productivity, uh, material productivity. And we were able to uh, drive some real margin expansion of 30 basis points this quarter. Very proud of the team. Well, when I was speaking to Greg Hayes this morning on United Technologies, now Raytheon, it's very clear to me that Otis, I'm not saying it was a starved division. I, I do think that it was a division that he knew if you had it, you could do so many things with it versus what's happening with, with, uh, with Pratt & Whitney, what's, what, what's hap happening w w with all of the missiles, the defense stuff. It does seem that Otis is laser focused in different markets and much, much more able to, to bring out uh, earnings than previous. Yeah, I mean, focus matters. Uh, Greg Hayes knew this uh, when he, he and the UTC board decided on the spin and the split, and it really matters uh, to us. We're agile. We make decisions quickly. We can make little things matter in volume and scale. I think what most people don't understand is we are the leading elevator and escalator designer, manufacturer, installer, and maintainer in the globe, 200 countries and territories around the world through 1,400 branch offices. And 2 billion people a day touch our product. We do move the world. And what's most important during this pandemic is we stay focused, we deliver essential services, and over half of our 2 million service portfolio, Jim, is in residential buildings where everyone is using elevators. We kept the hospitals running, we kept the metros running, and we, we help the front line to the best of our ability. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.